Hey, yeah, why you say? We'll start with 150 yeah, and then yeah, 252. 150, go ahead. Okay. So, Denzel yes. Washington, right. congratulations thank to you. you. Thank you. This is like real history, especially with Sydney being here tonight. Yeah, unbelievable. You're the first since 1963. Right. What's that doing to your head right well, now I, and you your know, heart? When I, when I heard about uh, uh, Randy Newman, I was getting nervous. <laughs> <laughs> I was like, oh, God, not 16 times. But uh, w what an honor it is just to be, first of all, just to be up there on the stage with him. You know, that whole presentation. He's such, as we all know, a class individual. And, and uh, he's been a friend of mine for a long time. He's, he's given me advice. The first uh, one or two pictures that I made, he gave me very good advice about uh, my career. And in fact, was in, in, an, in an indirect way uh, uh, responsible for me doing the film Cry Freedom because I was actually offered another film, uh, which he suggested that I would turn down since I didn't feel that good about doing it, although it was for a lot of good money. Uh, but I did turn it down and then got Cry Freedom, which was the first time I was uh, nominated. So I'm in debt to Sydney in so many ways. I just love him. But this idea of you now being a part of history, yeah. has that gotten through to your consciousness? Because yet? I'm a part of history because what? Because you're the first since 1963. To win for Best Actor? Yeah. Yeah. And now the first to have two, I guess, African-American yes. actors. Yeah. Right. Yeah. Well, you know, uh, as I said, oh, thank you. <laughs> My cousin back there. <laughs> uh, I, you know, I, I, I tell you, really, it, it, very much like the first time that I won, I was just very calm all day today. And uh, in fact, I turned the TV on. I was watching the the NCAA finals right up until 4 o'clock. My wife was going crazy. She's like, we got to go. I'm like, I'm trying to wait to see who's going to win. I just felt relaxed, you know, and, and I've been to the dance a few times, and I knew it was out of my hands, and, you know, I've done what I could do as an actor, and uh, I just appreciate the fact that the Academy recognized me this time. But this being a part of history, what's that like for you? Uh, I, don't, I don't know how much that's even sunk in yet, you know. Uh, I, I'm... I'm I'm already a part of history, you know, in a, in a lot of ways, and um, that, the whole thing with Sydney and all that, I mean, that, that uh, I'm just glad to know the man. For me, it's more personal, you know, there's a, a lot of talk about it and race and all of those issues, but uh, my feelings for him, I've had long before this became news, and, and I just feel closer to him now. I mean, I am in terms of awards, but just personally, I feel closer to him. Number 150. Denzel, here. Number 150. What's is up, it, Mr. 150? How are you, man? <laughs> okay. <laughs> is it better the second time around? Uh, you know what? I think it's more exciting or uh, uh, surreal the first time. I was just taking pictures with Holly Berry, and she's she doesn't know where she is. She's gone. <laughs> she's out there. And yeah, and I know the feeling when I when I won uh, 10, 11 years ago. Uh, I ran into Kevin Klein because I think he had won the year before. And as soon as I went off stage, I was like. I just didn't know if I had actually won or if I just ran up there and, you know, it, it, it is surreal. This time, it, it was a little, I just had a piece about me all week and, and all day, and I told my kids, win or lose, I'm gonna go home and hang out with them, and that's what I'm gonna do. And After a couple of stops. I think you give, <laughs> <laughs> Number two, one two stops. I think you give Den a new meaning 12? to black by popular demand right now. <laughs> black by popular right. demand. Well, you know what? People s use the word movie star, and I like to say, I'm. Uh, I, I'm hopeful uh, an actor who, who's become becoming more and more popular. You know, it's a craft. I, I respect the craft. I try to, to do my best work. And I'm really pleased and, and relieved to see that the Academy is recognizing people for their work, not just for the amount of money that's spent on a campaign. I think that's a, that's a good thing. Denzel, hi. Congratulations. Where are you? I, I can't, where are you? Back here. Back there. Uh, hey, how you doing? All good. Right. Uh, do you feel that, you know, one thing about this performance is that it's a total change of pace for you. It's your right. first real villain. Right. And it, do you think that gave you an, an edge? People were looking at you as an actor in a way they'd never seen before? I, I, I think so. I think, it, you know, had I played another, I don't know, I don't know, another hero or real person, I, I think that, the, that playing this role did kind of shock people a little bit and show them that I could do other things. I, I didn't necessarily do it for that reason. I mean... I, you know, uh, you didn't do the role to win the Oscar. I knew. Come on, I, di I didn't think it was that type of role, and and uh, you know, I, I don't do any role for that reason. Certain roles have a certain, you know, vibe about them, like a Malcolm X or even the Hurricane. Definitely not Training Day, but uh, you know, it turned out well. 
you've you've also just recently joined what's called Hollywood's $20 million club. Congratulations on that level this year with your first movie. Uh, when, now that you've won the Oscar, does that mean you get a bump in pay on that? Well, you know, none of us are worth what we get. I mean, so I just try to work hard. I don't get bogged down in how much and, and who makes more and blah, blah, blah. You know, I've been blessed. To, I've been, you know, making good money for a long time. And, you know, when I started acting in college, I thought I was going to one day work on Broadway and make $650 a week, and that was good enough for me. You know, my, my intention has always been to, to, to grow as an actor, to, to get stronger, to get better. And as a result, I, like I said, I've been recognized by the people and now uh, being compensated in the way that I am. So I'm blessed. Number 166 down in front here. Right here. Hey, what's up? Hi, how you doing? Congratulations. Thank you. You know, uh, Sidney Poitier has always talked about how he's captained his own ship throughout his career. Uh, how would you uh, equate your career with that? Do you follow the same guidelines? I mean, he's pretty much called his own shots since the beginning. Well, I think actors always have the ultimate power, which is the power to say no. You know, I, I think, I know one of the reasons I'm standing here today is for the roles that I didn't do, not so much for the roles that I've done. Uh, you know, it may sound egotistical or whatever, but I, I think that we do have control over what we do and we if you compromise you you will be compromised and and I've tried to you know have a certain level of integrity and, and, and credibility to work that I've done and you know it pays off on nights like tonight one other quick question uh, uh, tagging along to that is that you you've um, always put a lot of effort in your roles that you play that you do a lot you seem to, to study the role you you spend a lot of time whatever the character is going to be can you talk about that a little bit? Well, you know, I feel like I have an obligation to the public. You know, I try to work real hard, and they're paying their hard-earned money to, to, to come in to be entertained. And, and I'm being paid a lot of money to entertain. And even before being paid a lot of money, I just feel that, you know, that's what I'm there to do. I, I can't do things in a, in a half-hearted way. I, I try to work as hard as I, as I can. And, and the audience knows that when they come to see me, they'll know that I'm working hard for them. And I'm giving it everything I got. Number 118. 118. Where are you? Right in front. Hey, Hi. hey, how are you? Congratulations. Thank you. You know, you, along with this award comes a big responsibility. And yet you've said, I don't want this to be equated with a favor. I don't want it to look like, you know, this gesture doesn't, isn't about the work, isn't about acting. I loved your laugh at your acceptance speech. Can you separate the two, the pride in the work and the pride of what this represents? What do, you, what do you think it represents? It <laughs> represents <of> <laughs> an applause for you as an right. actor. Well, yeah, I think that's and great. A, a terrific part and maybe an acknowledgement of a whole body of work saying, it's time. We, you yeah. know, this adds on to well, the pleasure you know, he's given I, I've, us. I've been nominated five times. I've won twice. And I think that, that that's, you know, speaks to, I guess, how people feel about my work. You know, I, I take pride in what I do. Like I said, I work very hard. I've been recognized for it over and over again in many ways by the public and by the academy. And, uh, you know, that's all I do. I don't, I don't put too much on, you know, I'm not really out there listening to what everybody's saying and what the issues are. I, I believe the universal stems from the specific. And my job is to, to do the best I can as an actor. That's what I do. Did that's that what I concern myself with. How people respond to that, that's on them. I can't walk around asking everybody how they feel about what I'm doing. I won't get anything done that way. Did that laugh Number in your acceptance speech mean you're still having fun doing what you You know do? what? I had the most fun tonight. I, I uh, you know, I, I came in tonight, and, I, and before I came, I read a little scripture from the Bible that, that talked about just sharing with others, you know, that when you're in a position of opportunity, share with others. And, and, I, and I took that to mean just to, you know, don't be so closed-minded and shut down and tight, but it, <laughs> and just have some fun and talk to people and, and I did, you know, I went and shook folks' hands in the crowd, you know, the regular folks, and just had fun. I just felt very relaxed. I still feel relaxed, and uh, turned out well. Number 236, over 236. here on the right, Denzel, good yes, evening. Sir. Congratulations, hey, thank sir. You. Thank you. Long overdue. Well, what are you going to do with that Oscar? To put it next to my other one. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, exactly. In my house. <laughs> I don't know. You know, I, I'll, I'll, I'll ask the kids. We'll do it by committee tonight and find out what they, what they suggest, where they suggest it should go. Uh, you know, we have sort of a trophy room in the house, so I guess that's where it'll go.
you got a lot of support in, in to get this award. One of those was Julia Roberts. What was that feeling about? Well, you know, you, you, I, I was getting, I was hearing a lot uh, from a lot of different people. I've been getting a lot of calls and people are like, this is your time. The old ladies who've had dreams and then they dream about this and that and uh, everything. I've been hearing from a lot of people and you have to just kind of sit tight and put a lid on that because you don't know. You know, but uh, obviously the, the feelings that people had they, they were genuine and, and uh, yeah, I'm happy. Yeah. We have time for two more questions, yeah. number 66 and then number 111. Where's 66? Right over, okay. I just dropped my 66. I'm I'm sorry. sorry. Anyway, um, tomorrow uh, most newspapers in America are going to make a, a big deal, not just about uh, the achievements uh, that you and Hallie have contributed, which are, of course, considerable. Mm -hmm. But I wonder, as an actor, having constantly, you know, found yourself nominated five times, if you feel that uh, because so much is going to be made of, of the race component, that this country has still a race problem, or if it has a race problem masquerading as a class problem, or what your thoughts are. That sounds are. like a question for Randy Newman. <laughs> <laughs> well, Think about it. 16 <laughs> times. Well, who, does he, who does he blame? What would he say? But right? You, like, like if on his 15th time when he lost, is that racism? Or no, no, I'm not <laughs> suggesting that. My, my question is... Do, do, what is your question? Do you Number 66, what would you like to know? <laughs> <laughs> Turn it over, make it 99, and ask the question again. No. <laughs> All right, 99. go ahead, 99. Do, do, do I what? Do no, you seriously. feel that there will be a time where we will not have headlines saying black actor wins? And, and do you think... Well, do you write for a newspaper? Unfortunately, yes. Well, then make sure it doesn't happen tomorrow. Just say actor wins. That's yeah, very what fair. A, what a chance you have. What an opportunity. Fair. Opportunity. All right. 99. Denzel. <laughs> Denzel. Yes, where are you? Over here. Number I'm 111 over uh, here on the left. Over to your left. Oh, I'm, yes. Hi. I'm 111 and it's the same both ways. So. Okay. Um, a couple of years ago, we, I sat down with you and Sidney Poitier and... For you, USA? Uh, yeah, yeah, yeah. The Four Seasons, right? Yeah. Okay. Yeah. It was like one of the best interviews I've ever had the pleasure of having. And you at the time had a piece of paper that you had saved over the years from someone saying that you were destined for great things. Mm -hmm, a prophecy, yeah. Right. right. Do you keep, do you, did you I have that I still have it, yeah, 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 yeah. I don't have it on me, but yes, I still have it. Yeah, a woman prophesied that I would speak to, preach to millions of people, and you know. And there you were. Well, yeah, I guess she was right. Thank you and very much. And? <laughs> <laughs> I just was wondering if you had it on. Yeah, no, I don't. No, I don't carry it on me because it's kind of fragile now and falls apart. But uh, I still have it. That was a wonderful day we spent with it Sydney. It sure was. Yeah. yeah. Class Thank act. you. And congratulations. Thank you very much. Thank you very much. Congratulations.